Well, guess we need to go talk to Camellia. Yeah, like we have any other option. There's no telling how events will unfold. Let us prepare before making our way. Yeah, she can sit tight a while. Do you see that, Noct? What is it? No, I don't see it. I suppose you're gonna make me come back and look at whatever it is you wanna look at. It's a statue. Yay. Peace be unto the province. Million Gil question. What are we eating? Spots around here. What's a good place to stay? Thank you for coming. Huh, I gotta negotiate. No sweat. First things first. Thanks for coming to greet us in person. It's the least I could do for a king. Westcomb didn't extend me an invitation, so I decided to extend my own. Though circumstances have changed, both the King and the Oracle are finally in Altitia. You said that you have Luna in your care. Doesn't that pose a risk to your nation? Is the King concerned for our relations with the Empire? But it's true. The Oracle is a risk, one we are prepared to shed with. Whether we do so depends on you. Now, let me ask some questions of my own. Why does the Oracle seek to awaken the Hydrian? She just wants to talk with Leviathan. She would wake a slumbering goddess just to have a chat? Somehow, I doubt the Tide Mother will take kindly to being roused on a mortal whim. Let me be frank. The potential chaos worries me. You know better than most what took place in Lucis with Archean. Tell me, what happened? Well, since I have to gain her trust... I met Titan, and he gave me his power. Just like the legends. Though the Empire doesn't like the way the story goes. Even as we speak, they mobilize their forces. It seems there's no avoiding chaos. It will most likely come to war. However, I don't care to host a battle on my soil. The gods and the Empire be damned. suppose you'd cry over the Empire's losses? An intriguing suggestion. Be 
You're placing your chips on Leviathan. Not all of them. I'm not so naive as that. There are things that you must do for yourself. Without further ado, let us talk terms. If you wish to hold the right, you must ensure my citizens' safety and aid in their evacuation. That's fine, but what about damage to the city? Your concern is appreciated, but I am prepared to accept some structural damage. Keeping the citizens safe is my chief concern, and therefore yours. And that is not all. Once the rite has begun, I will not be accountable for what follows. You are on your own. Not a problem. We know how to take care of ourselves. Thank you. I'm sorry we cannot do more. But as I'm sure you are aware, few armies can stand against the might of the Imperial fleet. That is all for the terms. To review, you are to ensure our citizens' safety and engage the Empire. Do we have an agreement? All right. Let's fight together as allies. Allies? Such a vote of confidence. Well, you can trust us to do our part and keep the Oracle safe. A final warning, though I doubt it'll come to it. My duty is to my citizens. Should any harm befall them, there will be a reckoning for both King and Oracle. All right. You do what you must for your people. You're just like your father. Thanks. You've made the right decision. Madam, it's time. Assign three of your own for the evacuation effort. Whom you choose is up to you. According to our intel, the Imperial fleet will be four warships strong. Steel yourselves for a full-scale battle. I'm glad we could talk. We can each act in our own interest to our mutual benefit. <laughs> I can't promise something I can't help. Of course. You certainly opened up to them, though. What can I say? I have a soft spot for the young and tragic. They've lost Regis. They've lost the crystal. Was it so long ago the last oracle was taken from them? We've seen the Empire go mad these ten-odd years. During the rite, we must see to it. The Empire does not harass Leviathan. Gonna be tough to pull off before the King receives her power. And with three of us on evacuation detail. Indeed. The best we can realistically do is to help the Hydrian help herself. What kind of help are you talking about? Just like Titan, the Empire will seek to immobilize Leviathan. Ah, oh, with the harpoon things? If we can dislodge them from the Goddess, she will have a fighting chance. Sounds good in theory, but don't push it. It's pointless, unless you can get that blessing. Stay flexible, stay alert. All right, will do.
harpoons. Look, it's Luna. If worse comes to worse, you can threaten to throw the trident into the sea. Then they'll listen. In the meantime, it will be well guarded. Better than the Oracle herself. Understood. I shall reclaim it at the altar. Remember, you'll be under Imperial Watch. Right. Think of it as a necessary evil in order to forge the Covenant. I am in your debt. Once it's over, you may go as you please. But you do so without our protection. So be it. You'd better get going. Your public is waiting for you. wagging her tail. Oh, whatever you do, be very, very, very careful, or you will have squished dog head under your feet. It was bare underneath the, uh... Yeah. You will be deep. Blah. I can't talk. Knocked. You in position? Yep. Don't forget the plan. You guys, too. slots. Might as well. the old book into our uh, cell. <sighs> Talk about a crowd. Look, the whole city's come to watch. So where am I supposed to go? Dear friends, I stand before you today with little hope the words I speak shall reach beyond these walls. For slowly but surely, the light fades from our world, and as it does, hatred and sorrow in the hearts of men. The ashes of Lucis. A dream of peace, twisted into a nightmare of death and destruction, claiming innumerable lives and leaving myriad souls to suffer 
Fiona. Yet I beg you, do not surrender to despair. Have faith, for our gods watch over us. By their blessings, by the stars that light the heavens above, our world will be delivered from the perils of the dark. I stand before you here <coughs> in Altitia to call upon Leviathan, goddess of the seas, spirit of the deep. By the sacred rite, I will commune with the Hydrian. But first, I offer you my solemn vow. On my honor as Oracle, I will not rest until the darkness is banished from our world and the light is restored. Bless you all. She was under watch by the Empire. Why did they let her do this press conference thing? <coughs> the plot thickens. It's the same thing as they, the Empire's ambassador knows exactly where Noct is all the time. <laughs> True. There's something so much deeper going on. I think the Empire is just trying to destroy it. It is I, Luna Freya, blood of the Oracle. Goddess of the seas, I beseech you, enter into this covenant that the king might reclaim the stone.
I know what you must know. That the King of Kings is to drive the darkness from our star. <laughs> it is in receiving mercy that men offer praise and in shedding grace that the gods solicit worship. <laughs> The only way you'll help me is if I take you down.
Now, about that ring. On second thought, you let him have it. And do remind him about the crystal. Prince, your bride awaits! I will pass the ring to the rightful king. When the prophecy is fulfilled, all enthralled to darkness, Shall know peace. How sweet. 